Hi, today we're going to talk about how to replace a digital thermoset battery operator with a Venstar 2800. The tools that you're going to need to replace a thermoset is wire strippers, a nice Phillips screwdriver, and a thermoset screwdriver to get inside to the pins and disconnect the wires. You want to replace this old thermostat that has two AA batteries uh, and we want to upgrade it to a new type of thermostat. The first thing that you want to do is is to pop off the thermostat off the wall like that and there are going to be some wires in there. Now this is very easy, um, a lot of people don't understand what wires go where and what color codes they are. So I'm going to make it real easy and I'm going to write it on a piece of board for you guys. R is red, which is the red wire in the thermostat, and that is power. The next wire is the common. You need a common wire for the Venstar 2800 and 2900. It's a brown wire, which is this wire right here, and that's the common. The next wire is the indoor fan. The indoor fan is a, on the thermostat, it's a G. It's the green wire, which is right here, and that represents the indoor fan. The next wire is the yellow wire, which is your cooling contactor, and it's this wire right there. Y1 on the thermostat, the yellow wire, first stage cooling. The next wire is going to be the white wire, which represents the white wire right here. It's W1, and it's first stage heat. Now you're going to say to yourself, I have three extra wires inside the jacket. This is an 18-8 thermostat wire. What I normally do is, since I'm not going to use them, I'm just going to wrap them around here. Just like this. And we'll keep them in the future, just in case if one of the wires gets shorted in the conduit, you'll have an extra wire. But the end the National Electric Code is right here. Okay, so now what we did was we took this Honeywell thermoset off and we now are putting in a Venstar 2800. Um, question, a lot of people ask me why do we replace these type of thermosets? Well, here's one of the answers um, that I tell all my clients and customers. Um, when the program gets all messed up inside these Honeywells, it takes a little bit of time to reprogram the thermosets. And the Vensar 2800s are so easy that anyone can work on them. Uh, you can call any HVAC licensed contractor who has experience on programming the Vensar 2800s. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, it saves time and money in the long run. Anyways, here we go. Uh, just like what we talked about, here we go. White wire goes on the white terminal. The yellow wire goes on the Y1. The green wire goes on the G for the indoor fan. The R is the red wire. And the brown wire goes on to the common. And when we do this, uh, we don't need batteries anymore. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our thermostat. And uh, be very careful because it has these pins right here. And they got to go right inside. So right now we're going to see if we got power. There we go. Look at that. Nice and power. Uh, this thermostat is very easy to operate. To turn on the fan or turn on the air condition, remember the mold button. The mold button is your best friend. So let's go ahead at one time. 
It's going to take you to heat 65. Well, we're here in Los Angeles, California, and we don't need heat. But we do want to have the fan running so we can have circulating the air. So right now our fan's running. And let's say if we want mechanical cooling, we're going to hit the mold button one time. It's going to take me to cool. And we want to keep the set point at 72 degrees. The big number is 76. That's how warm it is inside the building. And this little light right here, which is not on, in about two minutes, when that light comes on, it should be a green light. And that is going to turn on the condenser okay, on the so roof. Right now, the green light just came on. Uh, that means that you're in the cooling mode. Um, Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we hope to bring out more videos in the future. Um, see you soon.